So this next award recipient uh, is the Sonoma Academy, WRNS Studio again, hmm, uh, and XL Construction. Let's take ahead to 2020 WRNS. Um, Sonoma Academy is a private co-ed college prep high school located on a 34-acre campus at the base of Taylor Mountain in Santa Rosa. Sign me up. The new Y-shaped building, known as the Janet Durgan Guild and Commons, is a mixed-use, two-story, 19,500-square-foot learning facility. Every inch of the building and landscaping was designed to yield one or more environmental benefits, along with cost savings from reductions in the use of energy and water. The building has demonstrated zero net energy leadership, has achieved numerous third-party certifications, including LEED V3 Platinum, and is a model for sustainability and a teaching tool for the students and the community. So accepting the award for Sonoma Academy, WRNS Studio, XL Construction is Sonoma Academy's Janet Durgan Guild and Commons is Kelly Castaneda, Director of Curriculum at, for Sonoma Academy, and Pauline Souza, uh, Partner and Director Sustainably for WRNS Studios. Hello, so like he said, my name is Kelly Castaneda and I am the Dean of Curriculum at Sonoma Academy. And I'm thrilled to be here today to accept this award on behalf of Sonoma Academy. First, I would love to thank our partners, WRNS Studio and Excel Construction. They really listen to all of our constituent groups, our students, our parents, our faculty and staff and administration, and took all of those ideas and brought them to life, which is really exciting. Um, I'd also love to thank Susie Hagemeister, who is one of our trustees and the entire board of trustees. I mean, this is their vision, and they brought this vision to life and with all of their love and support. And I use the word love very deliberately because in our community, it's, it's really, really important. Um, and the vision really, as Janet described it, was not just to create and construct a building that would hold all of the necessary things that happen in schools like learning and eating, but also to teach the students. And as you saw in the videos, we created a scavenger hunt and we tried to get all of our sophomores through the building and we make them record themselves and they have to explain the concepts. Because how cool is it that these students are gonna understand things like gray water systems and cross laminated timber and <laughs> rammed earth masonry units. Um, I could keep going, I love saying all these terms. I've learned them all myself too. Um, if they know them and they're normalized, imagine what they can do when they go off to college and design and invent everything. I'm so excited for that. And then most importantly is that the building and grounds have allowed us to focus our curriculum on solutions rather than the problem. Because they get it. The students get it. They, they get that the planet is in trouble and that they're the ones that have to solve it. And especially in Santa Rosa and in Sonoma County, the students really get it. They've lost their homes, some of our community members. Some lost their family businesses and had to rebuild after the flood. And it's really, really hard for them. It's been a big challenge. And by focusing on solutions, not only were we able to afford the students the opportunity to learn skills from engineering all the way to public speaking, um, but we've also allowed them to improve their mental health and resiliency, which is probably the most important. So thank you so much, Actera, for acknowledging us and letting us be a part of this wonderful community. Um, it's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. 